Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are going to check out the diecast Mark 47 that was shown at, as a prototype over at Langham Place during the Spider-Man Homecoming exhibition in Langham Place, Hong Kong. This was around June 2017. Estimated release for this figure is around quarter one of 2018 in Hong Kong. As usual, please check out Hot Toys' website for all the information about this figure because it is actually a little bit different to the Mark 46. Obviously, the paint job is a little bit different, but it has noticeable features, and we're going to look at these here. The head sculpt is a little bit different to the 46. It's essentially a completely clean head sculpt, whereas on the 46, he had that bruised or bloodied eye Along with that, you have this open helmet piece that you can fit onto the 47. You get Tony Stark's sunglasses. Along with that, the base is different. It's a Spider-Man base as opposed to the diorama base. Also, you saw a little bit earlier on those mini repulsor deployer along with a small dynamic stand, which I believe fits onto the back of this Spider-Man stand. Let me reiterate, this is the die cast piece not the Power Pose Mark 47 that was released in June 2017. So essentially, this figure of the Mark 47 die cast is similar to the Mark 46, but with some accessory differences. Because they are very similar in terms of the mold, if not identical, I'm pretty sure you will be able to swap out, for example, that open helmet and move that across to the 46 or even use a completely clean head sculpt that you get with the 47 that you can use on the 46. Looking at the side of the figure here, you can see some scuffs, weathering, little bit of scratches, and not quite battle damage, but definitely some chips. Now, that is completely different to how the power pose is. The power pose is a much cleaner armor, very similar to how the 46 power pose figure is. So this, I would say, mimics how the 46 looks in die-cast, but with, obviously, the silver and this metallic look about it, which is drastically different to the 46. That's completely red and gold and a little bit of silver. One of my favourite parts of coming to these types of exhibitions is that you can always get to see the back and the sides of the figure. Generally, if figures are displayed over Secret Base or at Toy Hunters, you generally only see the front. And the back of the figure, the work that's gone onto this, the paint app, the sculpting, the molding, you don't even see because it's at the back and hidden away. So that's why I've taken more footage of the rear of the figure. I'm going to leave you guys with a few photos from Hot Toys' Facebook page and official website. Just a quick mention, I bumped into Robertson, who was over from the Philippines when I was taking that footage, and also Brian, who was also taking footage whilst we were there. So it was great to meet you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick look at those particular prototypes. Thanks for watching, and catch you all at the next video.